so availability test it continuously checks if our app is up and running it checks it by continuously pinging our app from various locations now in case if our app is unavailable that means if our app is down we can create azure alert which will notify us that our app is down so i guess guys it was quite self explanatory so what we will cover in this demo so we have a web app hosted in azure app service now we will create availability test which will run every 5 minutes that means this availability test it will check if our app is up and running now we will create azure monitor alert rule which will notify us in case our app is down see guys when we create this availability test an azure alert rule is automatically created so as you can guess whenever this availability test fails that means whenever our app is down this alert rule it will get triggered but then what should happen when that alert rule gets triggered right so for that we need to add action group and then action in that alert rule so in guys this alert rule it will be automatically created but then we have to explicitly add action group and action in that alert rule and action it will be again send email notification and finally we will shut down our app service that means our app will be down and then we will cross check that we should receive email notification so guys we are in azure and let's open app service and this is our app service see my web app 2022 so let's open it now let's first verify if our app is up and working so let's click on this browse so yes our app is working right now let's verify if there is any app insights which is linked to this web app so we are under search and here i will type insights let's open application insights and yes this web app it is linked with this app insights and the app insights name is app insights 22 so let's open this app insights so again we are in new tab and let's click on this app insights and the app insights is this app insights 22 right so open it so guys basically now in this app insights we will add availability test so under search let's search for availability let's open it and now under this add standard test we will add that availability test so let's click on it now let's give name to our availability test so i will say app 22 availability test and now obviously we need to provide the url for our app so the url is this one so again how we can get this url so again this is our web app under overview we can simply click on this browse button okay now let's copy this url so this is the url of our app and let's paste it now we see this pass dependent request so if i tick this see it says when enabled this availability test it will request images scripts styles and other files that are part of the web page under this test so yes you want to test this everything and see this it says enable retries for availability test failures so that means if availability test fails it will retry but we don't want that so let's unselect so basically you want that even if our test fails for the first time we should receive email okay so let's unselect it and now test frequency let's keep it 5 minutes and guys see this test location so these are the regions so so basically as we will try to ping our app from these regions so let's keep it default and now i will say create and you can see our availability test has been created now as you remember we just discussed that whenever we create availability test 
and alert run automatically gets created. So let's actually verify that. So now let's open Azure Monitor in new tab. So here I'll type for monitor that is we are opening Azure Monitor service. Let's click on alerts and then alert rules and see guys this app 22 availability test. So this alert rule has been automatically created because we have created that availability test. But again what should happen as a part of this alert rule that means what should happen when this alert gets fired right. So that we have to define and for that we will add action group and then action in that alert in that alert rule. So basically we will add action to receive email notification. So let's open this alert rule. I'll say edit. Now let's go down and see this under actions there is no action group or no action. So first we will create action group and then we will add action. So let's click on this select action groups. I will say create action group and now here we need to provide action group name and display name. So action group name I will say ag-app22 and let's give the same display name. Now I will say u plus create and then create and now let's say save. Now let's close this. Now we'll see under this alert rule we have added this action group but then under that action group we have not added any action. So basically now we want to add an action to send email notification. So let's open this action group again. Now let's go down and under notification type I will select email or SMS. Let's give name so we'll say. email to app 22 owners and now here under email let's select this checkbox and then we need to provide the email id right so so basically now this user he should receive an email notification when our app is down so here let's say ok and i will say save changes now let's close this so basically that's it guys and now let's go back to our app insights. Now here let me simply refresh this and see guys it shows green tick box that means our availability test has already been fired and it shows green that means everything is working fine. But now let's shut down our app service so that now this availability test it should fail and we should receive email notification right so let's go back to our web app and here i will say stop now let's go back to our app insights so again guys now we have to wait for this availability test to fail and again if you remember we have configured it to run every five minutes right so let's wait so we have waited for a few minutes and I have simply refreshed this screen and if you see over here it already shows that availability is not 100% and on the right hand side you can see that there are some failures as well right. So we must have received an email notification and let's check that. And see guys this is the email which I have just received and it says the availability test has failed. So that's it guys, thanks, thanks for listening.